When uh, originally in 2016, when when uh, Matrix came up with the Mavericks of Color, um, I had an idea of what it was and what it meant to be a Maverick. And to be honest with you, even with the uh, the new, the succeeding Mavericks of Color, my opinion of it hasn't changed. It's not just being the best artist. It's not just being the best collision painter. It's creating problems and solving them, or problems being created for you and solving those, whether it be the paint, whether it be the, the job in itself. Solving those problems and moving forward and having passion behind that every single day. That's still a maverick to me. I think Lonnie Spear is a perfect example of what a maverick is. Um, he's got collision experience, years of collision experience. He's been uh, working at Counts Customs now for years. He's been working around me. He's seen the messes that I've made and he's helped me fix them. So along that way, he's also learned his own procedures for fixing and avoiding having to fix things. The way he approaches the industry, and not just the industry, but the culture that is painting, whether it be custom or collision, um, he's very passionate about it. It's not just something that he does, it's a life that he lives. And that's another extension of what I think a maverick of color really should be. Being nominated by Ryan Evans is a, is, is a huge compliment. Before, before I came to this shop, I didn't know who Ryan Evans was. I didn't care who Ryan Evans was. I was so zeroed in in my world that, that it didn't matter. But now that I've worked with them for seven years, it's like we, we become brothers. Not just co-workers, but brothers. And uh, a mentor. And uh, I, I've, I've learned a lot from him. I've learned more from Ryan Evans in the last seven years than I have in the 13 years of doing Collision. He's been, he's been a real blessing in my life. Jason Vanderwood is another perfect example of a maverick of color. The man has style, his graphics, his artwork is just from out of this world and he keeps evolving every single paint job. You, it, it's sometimes difficult to tell that it's him because his paint jobs and his styles just keep evolving. I've always been paying attention to Jason's work. He is a killer painter. Everything that he does is just top notch. Everything always flows and it's always different each time. I believe he's the next Maverick for a reason. He is just out there and not scared to do anything different. What do I want to say to Justin? I called him right afterwards and told him thank you when I got the thing. I kind of was, like I said, I was a little surprised by it, so kind of called him to see if it was for real and stuff. So, uh, But no, I told him thank you and I was very honored that he um, thought my work was good enough to be associated with the Be a Maverick, so very honored. Having Bill Elvis Stahl be a Maverick, I think is an awesome decision. The man is a gentleman, he has a genuine character, and the quality and the work and his ethics that he puts into his work are just top notch. That is what a Maverick of color should be. How I feel about being a Maverick with Lonnie is unbelievable, it's speechless. We share so many coincidences, not in the paint world, but in our own personal and family lives. We, Lonnie Spear and I have become such good friends. We Facebook, we talk. He's asked me questions about Matrix. I've asked him about questions about Matrix. We, we work together. If we have a problem, we solve it. You know, and it's just been, it's been just, if it wasn't for this Matrix, we never would have had that bond. I never would have met Lonnie Spear. And Lonnie has helped me with Matrix, and I know I've helped him, and for the rest of our lives, we will be friends and for, from one thing, and that was Matrix. Me and Bill are very close friends. Uh, we're a little more than close friends. We're, we're, we're like family now. Um, he's talented, very talented, runs a successful business. Uh, I, look up, I look up to Bill. He's a real good, good friend. Just the idea of picking a Maverick, I think is and should be only exclusive to another Maverick. People in the industry that uh, sell paint or represent paint, I don't think in my opinion that they're qualified to pick another Maverick. I think only a Maverick of color can pick the succeeding Maverick of color. It's just the natural, natural way of doing things. They're the ones that live the life 
of the next Maverick of Color.